If I can make money on YouTube, anyone can. When I was in college, I dropped out of speech class seven times before I was finally able to pass a speech class. I have severe anxiety around public speaking and I just literally could not make myself get up in front of a group of people and give a speech. I would completely freeze and not be able to speak. However, my eighth and final speech class that I was finally able to pass was an online speech class. And in that speech class, I gave speeches and uploaded them to YouTube as an unlisted video for my class to watch. Now, I wasn't very good, but I was finally able to pass the speech class and I realized that it was a way for me to be able to share information with people. I had finally found a way to be able to speak publicly and I wanted to continue to do that. So it encouraged me to start a YouTube channel, my personal YouTube channel, and here I am. Stay tuned till the end of this video because I'm going to share that very first video that I ever uploaded to my speech class. It's just my speech class introduction video. The video that I recorded a million years ago that started me on this YouTube journey. So this video is for anyone who has ever thought about starting a YouTube channel, anyone who needs to make a little bit of extra money even if it's not with YouTube, anyone who hates their nine to five job, who wants to stay home with their kids or who is currently staying home with their kids, but still wants to make a little bit of extra money to help support their families or anyone who is just overwhelmed doing all the things, working and taking care of your kids and just doing everything that you have to do in order to survive this economic life that we are currently living in. Maybe you feel defeated and exhausted at the end of the day and you just want a little bit of control over your life. And especially for anyone who feels like they cannot start a YouTube channel or they cannot start their own business or making money without relying on an outside employer. I'm not going to tell you that YouTube or anything is some get rich quick scheme. It is a lot of work and it takes a lot of time. There's a lot of skills that you have to learn in order to make YouTube videos. There is filming yourself, getting comfortable in front of a camera, editing, learning how to do thumbnails and titles and coming up with ideas, scripting videos, knowing what the algorithm wants. There is a lot involved in making a YouTube video, but you can learn all of those things. I have been told so many times on this channel to just go out and get a real job. And I find that so funny that people don't understand that you can make real money online. It just lets me know that these people don't understand our economy and how it is changing and evolving. Technology has advanced so much in recent years and the whole concept of what a job is in our job market is, is changing so quickly. A real job is a job that provides an income to help pay bills and expenses. And that is what YouTube has been to me. YouTube is something that I do that provides me an income that helps me support my family. The creator economy, which includes YouTube, is worth $155 billion today in 2024. It is expected to grow to $523 billion dollars by 2030. YouTube has become the number one TV streaming service, surpassing Netflix and all the other streaming services. There is so much money within the creator economy that if you are needing to make some extra money, getting into content creation is going to be a great way to be able to make money, especially going into the future. You should start now. So I started my YouTube channel eight years ago when I was a broke single mom with two young kids. At the time I started, I was making a couple hundred dollars a month, which isn't a lot of money, but it was enough to be able to like pay our groceries, our gas, and just some basic expenses that we had. I did YouTube while I still kept my full-time job. As the years have gone on, there have been years that I haven't really posted anything on YouTube. And then there have been years where I have really been focused on making money on YouTube. The last couple years, I have been very hyper-focused, which is why I've been able to increase my income 
to what it is today. Even when I wasn't hardcore focusing on YouTube, it was always there making me a little bit of passive income because I had videos uploaded that people for, were watching. So like, even when I wasn't recording any videos and I hadn't for a year, I was still making a little bit of money, like $50 a month, $100 a month, just from older videos. So I know that if I stop making YouTube videos today, I am still going to be making money for a long time. Now, is the money that I'm currently making on YouTube enough to do everything that I want to do in life? No, it's not. You know, I still want to save for retirement and I want to build a house without any debt. Like there are things that I want to do that two or $3,000 a month is not going to get me where I want to go but it is progress, it is a start, and it is continuing to grow every month. But it is enough to provide my family with everything that we need today. And with that, I am able to put more time and more effort into my YouTube channel. As I keep working harder, as I continue to add valuable content to my channel, I hope that my channel continues to grow I have all of my old videos that are up that are being watched and I will keep adding new videos that will continue to be watched. I'm not at my end goal, but I am very happy with my progress. My original goal was to make $2,000 a month because I knew that that was gonna cover all of our expenses and some. And now that I've met that $2,000 a month, I have a new goal. And you know, I had a goal of getting 20,000 subscribers at one point, and now my goal is to get 50,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. So if you wanna help me out with that, you can subscribe if you're not subscribed already. But I know even once I meet that goal, I'm going to have another goal. You're never going to meet your goals. Your goals are gonna keep changing and you're gonna keep growing with them. Anyone can make a YouTube video, literally anyone. I am nobody special. I have literally only ever used my phone to record videos. I have a cheap microphone. I, a lot of the time, have used free Wi-Fi by going to the library to upload my videos. The barrier to entry is very low. You really don't need to invest any money into this to start creating videos. It is gonna be a lot of work, especially at first, and at first you're not getting paid. You have to learn how to make YouTube videos, learn a bunch of skills in order to be able to just upload and post a video and get people to watch it. But it's something that you learn over time. And once you start making money, the money that you make is exponential because you have all of these other videos that people can go back and watch and you'll start making money and it'll continue to go up. And even once you start making money and even once you know what you're doing, you'll never know everything. You are always going to continue to grow and learn and get better. There's always more to learn. But making YouTube videos are never easy. It's a lot of work and I don't think that people understand how much work it actually is and how much time I actually spend on creating these videos. Um, but it is work that I enjoy doing. I get to pick what videos I am filming, what content I'm putting out there, what I wanna talk about. I am sharing things that I'm already doing in my life. So it's just kind of super efficient because I'm already doing these things anyway. So I'm just taking people along the journey with me while I'm figuring these things out. And you don't have to be an expert at what you're talking about. You can literally take people on a journey with you and teach them the things that you learn as you go. I will say that the hardest part about YouTube is the negative comments. And I have gotten quite a few negative comments. You have to learn how to not let them affect you. Even, I have a psychology degree and even with that, even though I understand how I'm reacting to the negative videos, even though I know why people say negative things, it is still like hard sometimes, a lot of the times, especially at first, to hear all these people say these negative things and like, why are people so mean? Why was even the point of them saying that? Like I've had people, you know, comment on my appearance, which whatever uh, about, 
you know, they say I'm an awful mom, that CPS should come and get my children, that um, I don't know what I'm doing, that I'm lazy, you know, that I should be doing this or that, or you just have to learn how to filter out all of those negative comments, especially when you're trying to be authentic and sharing your mistakes and your journey, which everybody has to experience failures and setbacks and that is how you learn things and you're sharing vulnerable things about your life and then people are mean to you about them it's just you just have to develop a thick skin everyone has something to teach someone else like i said you don't have to know everything you can take people on a journey with you people want real they want honest and you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to have the perfect hair or perfect makeup or a perfect outfit or be in a perfect house. I just want you to be authentically you and be honestly you and, and share yourself and the right people will find you and the right people will like you. So there's a lot of YouTube videos out there talking about making six figures and millions of dollars on YouTube. But what if your goal is to just make enough to provide it for your family. You do not have to do all of these crazy business things and hire people out and, you know, grow your business to this huge six figure business. I mean, is that wonderful to think about? Sure. But you can literally just post YouTube videos about whatever you want to. And as long as people are watching and you develop your own community, like that can be enough. It can be enough for you to stay home with your kids and not have to go to a nine to five job or be able to travel and have your schedule and your time back. So you can do the things that you want to do with your life. You can be in a little bit more control of everything. So one of the greatest benefits of having my YouTube channel is I have time freedom. Yes, I still have to work. Yes. YouTube is a lot of work, but I can do things on my own time. This is true no matter like what business you have, whatever you want to start, if even if it's not YouTube, when you work for yourself, you have your time back. You don't have to call in to work. You can schedule appointments whenever you want to. If your kids are sick, you can take a day off and just have a sick day with your kids. If you're sick, you can take a day off. You can work early in the morning before everybody gets up and late in the evening when everybody goes to bed and during nap time, which is when I'm filming this video, and have your own schedule and your own flow of the day. Just having this YouTube channel took such a burden off of me when having to work around everybody else's schedule. School schedule, sick schedule, my boss's schedule. Like, I had my time back to do the things that I wanted to do when I wanted to do them. One of the biggest barriers to starting a YouTube channel really is fear and lack of confidence. People are told over and over again that you have to have a, an outside job, like you have to be employed by somebody in order to be able to pay your bills. And I get told that on this channel in my comments all the time that get a real job, you know, like, why does owning your own business and doing your own thing, why is that not a real job? That is gatekeeping businesses. That is gatekeeping self-employment. People are taught that they cannot make enough money in order to support themselves, that there is too much risk involved. And there is risk in everything that you do. When you are making your own money, you have more autonomy, you have more control of the situation and you know, you shouldn't go out and just quit your job right away and like think you're gonna make your own money. It's a gradual process that you need to develop and learn the skills to make your own money, but you absolutely can make enough money and make the same amount of money that you're currently making somebody else. Because when you are working for somebody else, you are making them a lot more money than they are paying you. So you just have to figure out how to make yourself that money. You have the skills and the knowledge and the ability to do that. You just have to figure out how to do that for yourself. Now, YouTube AdSense is not the only way that I make money, and this is not my family's only source of income. We also do other things to make money. Within 
my YouTube channel. I have started making money other ways too. And that's kind of the goal is to have AdSense as a good portion of your income, but then to also create other streams of income. So I also make money through affiliates. So like whenever I recommend a product, if somebody buys that product or anything, like I do Amazon affiliates, so I will link Amazon products down below that I recommend. And if somebody clicks on that product, then anything that they buy within the next like 24 hours while they're shopping, I get a small percentage of that. It has come out to about a couple hundred dollars a month that I get in Amazon gift cards. So I'm not like having to buy anything that I need that's on Amazon. I can just use my Amazon gift cards that I get through Amazon affiliate program. Also have some affiliates with some other companies and they are companies that I use and I actually recommend. Like I would never recommend a company that I don't personally use and think are definitely worth the money. I also have been getting some free products in order to test out. Like I got a food dehydrator. I got this really cool grill, this off-grid grill that I'm going to be testing out. Um, and then just, I, I get a lot of products, people wanting to send me products and I'm very, very, very limited on what I let people send me because um, like I literally get dozens of products a day, people wanting to send me stuff. And if I don't definitely want it, you know, I'm kind of a minimalist, if I don't definitely want it and definitely think I'm gonna use it and think it's gonna be worth it, I just delete the email. I also started a channel membership where if any of you guys want to join my membership, um, there's a little join button down below and it's just additional content that I'm gonna be putting onto this members only part of my YouTube channel. And I started creating some products. I have a PDF meal plan that I did like an $80 feature family for $80 a week. And I have a whole shopping list and recipes and just a whole menu planned out for feeding a family of four on $80 a week that I have on my website, which I started a website also. I also have designed some merch, so like t-shirts and coffee mugs, if you wanna check that out. It should be in a banner down below where you can just go and look at that. But I have everything on my website that I have been working on, and well, actually my husband has been working on the website and the merch for me a lot. Um, I'm not very techy. I can be but it takes a lot of my time and I already have a lot going on. So he's been helping me with that a lot. But there is a lot more beyond just Google AdSense that you can start doing to create, grow a business from YouTube. Don't get me wrong, AdSense is amazing. And I kind of think it's crazy that I get so much money every month just from like you guys watching ads on my videos. When I talk about YouTube income, I also get a lot of fear around retirement and what about retirement? Well, whenever you own your own business or are self-employed at all, you still need to plan for retirement and save money for retirement. You are also paying taxes. You're paying self-employment taxes. So I pay into Social Security every year and I have for my entire adult life because I have worked my entire adult life. Even when I'm making money for myself, I pay into social security taxes. Now, social security is not really enough to live off of. So I also need to be saving money for my retirement, just like everybody else does. So the goal when you're self-employed is to continue to increase your income so that you are able to make enough money to put money back into savings. Most jobs today do not offer any retirement benefits, very, very few jobs offer pensions. So my goal is still planning for my retirement through my self-employment. I'm not gonna be a slave to an employer just so that I mitigate some of that risk so that I can retire at 67 and then get to do what I want to do for the rest of my life if I even make it that far. It is possible to live the life you want today and still plan for your future. So if you've ever considered starting a YouTube channel or any small business that is a way for you to stay home 
and make money, I'm just here to tell you that it is possible and you absolutely can and should do it. And I'm telling you, I am nobody special. If I can do all this, if I can figure all this out, if I can create videos that people want to watch, especially like with not being able to speak publicly. I still can't speak publicly, by the way. Like I could never get up and give a speech, I don't think, in front of a group of people. I have a hard time talking one-on-one -on -one with people. Um, yeah, so like having this YouTube channel has been a way for me to uh, have a voice, get out what I want to say and I have to say and share with all of you guys. So I'm really glad that all of you guys are here watching because you are making all of this possible. Uh, hi, my name is Katie. I'm 28 and I'm from Lenora City. Uh, this is my last semester at Rhone State and I'll be graduating with a general transfer associate's degree. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to be transferring to next. I've been thinking about it for 10 years and I still don't know what I want to be when I grow up. I have two daughters, Morgan is seven and Skylar is five. So my main focus right now is just being their mom and I figure I can think more about my career as they get older. I am a dog person. I have 12 dogs. I have two Dobermans and an Anatolian Shepherd who outweighs me by about 30 pounds and nine Chinese Cressets. Uh, Chinese Cressets are hairless dogs. I breed and show uh, Chinese Cressets and have for about 10 years. Um, in addition to my 12 dogs, I also currently have a litter of four nine-week-old puppies. There were five, but this morning I took one to the airport to fly to her new home in Oregon, where she will be trained to be a certified service dog. Um, I'm also involved in rescue. I fostered and rehomed about 400 dogs in the last 12 years or so. I'm also working part-time as a doggy day camp counselor at Parkside Lodge in Lenore City which basically means I get to play with dogs all day. I work with the big dog group, um, so I get to take the big dogs to a field and throw balls and go swimming with them all day. I'm very busy pretty much all the time, but when I do have free time, I enjoy reading and writing. I'm looking forward to the speech class because I don't feel comfortable giving speeches, and I hope this class helps me to feel more comfortable because I do enjoy sharing my ideas with people.